Brian here, American Mover Armored Academy of Arizona. Uh, and today I'm here to speak a little bit on some armor maintenance. Um, got here today a piece of my armor, my brigandine. Uh, I've run this, this particular brig for two, maybe three seasons now, pretty constantly. And I have finally had a repair that needs addressing with a little bit more than duct tape or a couple of rivets. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to make a couple of videos on uh, a couple of different items that y'all might find useful in your day-to-day -day armor maintenance. Um, and so I'll bring in here and I'll show you what I'm working on. So what I got is a Parabanos brig. This is his Chalkus, one of his early Chalkus prototypes. Uh, that I had him build with some larger front plates so that I can, and also so that I can uh, disassemble it. So it's buckled down the front and down the sides so it breaks into three pieces um, with a big main front plate. Now at this point, uh, issue has arisen after several seasons of use. Uh, this is a me party, mid party. Brig, meaning it has a couple of different colors on it. And at this point, uh, you can probably already tell what's happened is the top chest plate. So this would be my left upper chest. The plate has, uh, the, the, the stitching is separated um, on that front layer. So the upper piece up here would be black. Um, but the, the underlying plates have started to wear at the, at the base layer enough to where it started to tear and then it was just hanging by the seams. And so it just kind of came away. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to start picking this thing apart and I figured this would be a really good opportunity to show you how I like to remove rivets. So you can kind of see I've already got one started. Uh, there are a number of different ways you can do this, but my favorite method of rivet removal, especially with um, most of the armor I see today anyways, uh, is using a good a good chisel and a hammer and a decent vice setup. So I'll show you how I get armor plates like this chucked up in a vice and how I pull stuff off. Um, you can do this with like an angle grinder or a Dremel um, or to some extent like a belt grinder like this one I have over here. But uh, honestly, that's way too much tool for this kind of job and you'll end up uh, causing more damage to the armor than you really need to. You'll have to uh, touch up with paint a lot more this, that way than you do with a nice chisel. So this is a chisel that I've made. Um, obviously I'm a smith by trade at this point, so I make a lot of my own tools, but uh, any cold ch cut chisel from a hardware store should work. Uh, you don't need anything super big, maybe half inch is probably plenty. Um, you just want it good and sharp and made out of good hard steel. Uh, okay, I've got my setup here. so. This may or may not work for different pieces of armor. For smaller pieces like this, this is a great way to get like small pieces held, especially if you're a one-man shop and you don't have a buddy like me. Uh, I work in here myself most days. Sometimes I've got a buddy or over, but I really can't count on having somebody else to hold some of this stuff in armor. It's floppy, it's weird, it's in weird shapes, so you gotta figure out, kinda you gotta get creative with how to hold it. So in this case, I have just a big old C-clamp clamped up in my vise. Uh, you may or may not have a post vise, uh, this is better for beating on stuff, but for what we're doing today, you really can just use pretty much any old bench vise. And then I like to use a little C-clamp. Get this in here nice and solid. It's not going anywhere. My tools might though. Uh, and so then once I've got that clamped up, um, again, I take my hammer, get my chisel. And then after I've got that, I also have a, I have a punch to drive the rivet out, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, so this is my setup. C-clamp, vise, piece of armor, clamp the piece that you want to chop the rivets off on, and then um, I'll give you a little bit more detailed technique here in a moment. So let me go get my hammer. Okay, I'm back. Chisel. Hammer. Center punch. Uh, this is a tool I didn't talk about earlier, but I use a little center punch. You can also use like a nail set or any small punch that is the diameter or smaller of the shaft of your rivet um, that you want to punch out. And it's pretty much as simple as, again, chuck your, chuck your piece up in the vise, either using a C-clamp or some other method, depending on the shape, and then making sure your chisel's nice and sharp. Get in there right on the head of the rivet and just 
give it a couple little taps. And you'll shear the head of that little rivet right off. And I like to get this nice and flush, as flush as I can. And a lot of the times, actually right now, the rivet will just come right out. I'm not even gonna have to drive this one out. The rivet is, has come off. And now it is, both these did, that's wonderful. Wow, let's work for me. Let's see if I can pull this out of here without looking too much the fool. Yeah, there you go. A little piece of rivet. And then if we come in closer, you can see there is very minimal damage to the wonderful patina I've built up on this armor. By patina, I mean light surface rust. Uh, I'm not gonna have to go back in here and repaint this or do much rust preventative after this. Just a nice good oiling should be fine. Now, if I were to be doing this with an angle grinder, that's a much, much less precise tool. Um, some people are freaking snipers with those things, but that's not me. I always end up scuffing these rivets out and thinning out the metal more than I need to to get that same rivet out. Um, so that's why I prefer this method, but um, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna pull all these rivets out and then uh, I'm gonna re-stitch and kind of reinforce the lining there a little bit and then put it all back together. But as far as today's video goes, that's it. Again, hammer, chisel, punch sometimes, but if you get that, chisel nice and sharp and you shave that rivet down nice and flat and it's not too wallowed out, that should just fall right out and you can just plop, plop them out by hand. Um, at least with these single plates, sometimes when you have another piece of metal riveted to metal, you will need that punch. So that's good to have on hand, but uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that was useful. Again, Matt Aaron, Armored Academy of Arizona, American Boo Herd.